What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the PS5 update we received. This is version 7. I will have the patch notes linked down in the description if you'd like to read over it for yourself. Uh, one of the big features today was you can join uh, a Discord voice chat on your PS5 console. Now of course you will have to link uh, your PS5 through PlayStation.com uh, or the Discord, uh, Discord app on Windows, Mac, or mobile. Uh, of course follow the steps. Then use the Discord app on your mobile device or computer to get Discord uh, voice chat going on your PS5 console. Make sure that your app is updated and you can also let Discord, uh, your Discord friends see when you're playing online and what you are playing. It says if you've already linked your PlayStation account and that Discord uh, account in the past to display your game you're playing, you will still have to link the accounts to grant, uh, to grant that new permission to use Discord chat. It says if you were in the software beta for the PS5 beta for this uh, version 7 and you've already linked your accounts, you will not have to link them again. So you're not going to be able to join Discord straight from your PS5. You're still going to have to use the Discord app or your PC to get into a Discord chat. But once you're in, you then can talk to anyone on other platforms, Xbox, um, PC, and they also can, like I said, see what game you are playing. So that is a big feature we have here on PS5. Hopefully they will fix it to at some point where you can just completely kind of skip over using the app or PC uh, version of Discord and just go into Discord directly from your PS5. So hopefully that will happen down the road. Also, uh, during today's update, they added a start or request a share screen from your friend's profile. You can now send or share a screen request or start sharing your screen with a friend directly from their profile. Also, the new join game icon in party chats on the voice chat card, a joinable icon will be displayed for party members playing a game you can join. You can join the game directly by selecting the player and selecting join game from the menu. The new friends who play uh, tile is in game hubs. You can see which of your friends have the game who is currently on not, uh, line and who is currently playing the game by selecting the tile. You can see what your friends are doing now and also see your friends profiles where you'll be given more interaction options. So they kind of gave the example of, of, you know, showing God of War, showing the tile of friends who play it. And you can select that tile and see some different options, but also see what people on your friends list actually play that particular game you are playing. Uh, manually upload game captures to the PlayStation app. You can now manually select and upload individual screenshots or game clips to the PS app from the PS5 console, then easily share them on social media or with your friends. Also, the new gameplay and personalization options, and this is the one I know a lot of people are going to be excited about because I definitely am. Uh, variable refresh rate support for 1440p. You can now enjoy even smoother visuals and performance when using VRR compatible HDMI 2.1 displays at 1440p resolutions when playing a game that supports VRR. They also made some updates to the parameters of the PS5 console's 1440p output test enabling 1440p support to a wider range of HDMI displays. So this last update they did a little while back allowed a lot of monitors to be able to have that 1440p output. Some people were still saying their newer monitor it was not allowing them to be, still play in 1440. So you may want to check now and see with this new update if you know maybe your monitor that you're playing on was added kind of into that list because it will be a wider range of HDMI displays that should show it. Uh, I use a LG uh, monitor which is a you know Ultra Gear and it's uh, it, the last update it actually worked with mine but I did see that a lot of people with Ultra Gears some different types than the one I have were talking about online that there's didn't really weren't really working yet or didn't have that option for 1440p so make sure that you give it uh give it a look test it out and it will let you know once you test that 1440p option if you can play in it or not on your monitor that you are using to check if your hdmi device of course is compatible all you have to do is go to settings screen and video video output and test that 1440p output uh, they also changed some things with the game library you can now also short and filter games when adding games to a game list you can use filters in your library to easily find ps uh, vr games as well as psvr titled uh, psvr2 launches later this month also game uh, pre 
presets for multiplayer sessions, uh, kind of some preferences. You can now set your preferences to manage who can join and who you can invite other players to multiplayer sessions you've created to or for supported games. You go to settings, save data, and game slash app settings, game presets, online multiplayer sessions, and select your preferences in who can join and who can invite. Also, new accessibilities and ease of use features. PS4 to PS5 save data migration. They're making it easier for you to access your PS4 save data on your PS5 console. Also, PS5 to PS5 data transfer. You can now transfer the data on your PS5 console. It includes games, save data, user profile, settings, screenshots, and videos to another PS5 using a local Wi-Fi connection or, of course, a LAN cable. Also, screen reader improvements, wireless device updates for your DualSense wireless controllers. So whether you have a DualSense controller or the new PS5 DualSense Edge, you will have an update for your controller today. And also, game capture using voice commands. This is going to be a preview. Right now, it's UK and US limited release. This is going to give you some new voice commands, which now supports your voice to save video clips of your gameplay. That's not going to be available for everyone. It is kind of a preview. So like I said, it's going to be limited to the U.S. and U.K., but it is something they're looking to do later on down the road. And this will give you some more options of, like I said, how you can use voice, uh, voice recognition and how you can start saving gameplay clips with that voice recognition. And that is pretty much it for today's update. It was a big one for PlayStation. Of course, a lot of times we get small updates that are just, you know, base features for maybe a small amount of UI things, mainly bug fixes. But this is a really big update here in version 7. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the PS5 update. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.